Well, why, I mean, why was it a lot harder than we thought it was going to be, Darren? I run to the exit, then got moaned at, so I come back in to help, got killed, so I'm dead, everyone else got out, I died and I wanted to leave. I don't want to spend 150 hours on something and have my heart broken, so I won't do anything. That's me. Yeah. That's me, 100%. For a competition yeah. piece, you've got to have a yeah. plan, you know, what are you going to paint? How are you going to do it? Are you going to do something that's different to everyone else? Are you going to convert your model? 150 hours in, you enter it, nothing. Yeah, and I'll go around every single competition in the UK and enter it. <laughs> nothing. Until I get anything. And then nothing. What happens then? Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Sprue Goons podcast with me, Dickie, and my beautiful co-host, the uh, Brush Lickin' Bandit. There you go, what about that one? <laughs> Brush Lickin' Bandit. Darren, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. It's been a bit of a been a bit of an interesting couple of weeks for me. I was gonna say we uh eventful. We go through what what was our normal setup. So we'll go through basically what we've been up to, yeah. hobby wise, I suppose. So I'll tell you what, I'll kick off because mine's mine's quite short and sweet. This is actually hobby related. I've actually got some hobby, yeah. <laughs> not a lot, but I've got some hobby. Yeah. Um I can't remember if we spoke about it last time. We did, didn't we? The War Cry war bands we bought. I can't remember if we even said about it. No, I don't think so. No? We said we were thinking about doing war crime. Oh yeah, that was it. I said I thought I was think I thought I was <laughs> I th- thought about doing war cry. Look at that. Um and basically yeah, I convinced Darren to uh, get the war cry set. What's it called? Hunter and Hunted. So it's got the Ogre Moor tribe, which is like the gorges from Ogre Kingdoms or yeah. Ogre Moor tribes now they're called. And some Cities of Sigma, which are brilliant got some doggos in there yeah. with them so they're absolutely brilliant they're the ones that i read you for not getting yeah which are sitting in there now, now. i'm painting them yeah well they're not even built yet so <laughs> <laughs> the way your hobby's been going recently they won't be getting yeah. built for a while um yeah. yeah so i've been working on the uh ogres i'm not rushing i'm just trying to take my time enjoy it but um and just yeah but i've done one Ooh, out of, there's only five of them though but i've done one so yeah i'll show you now Here we live go. live reaction there you go, Darren. There's mine. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, that's fair enough. <laughs> For the audio listeners, uh, it's not very good. Um, <laughs> I'll describe it. Uh, You're an awesome. uh, that's, uh Yeah, that looks brilliant. Basically, it's the Ogre Claw leader, I think he's called. He's basically the leader of the uh, the uh, war band. I just basically... I, I find a lot of the time I always put a lot of pressure on myself to try and do as best I can, you know, push myself. But I thought... Sometimes it's a case of you don't even, I didn't even think about it. I just yeah. thought, I'm just going to start painting, just see yeah. what happens. I use my airbrush, been practicing with the airbrush a bit more. So I did all the base skin tones with uh, purple on the base. Then I built it up with some greys and white. So if you if you look, he's got a bit of light under his underbelly. He's a bit purple still. I tried to leave some of it in the shadows. But um, cool. yeah, to be honest, I didn't really have a plan going in. He is a bit of a box art wanker in terms of colours, mm. you know, brown straps, white yeah, skin, but, yeah. but I did a lot of blood blood effects. We got a toothbrush. Yeah, the blood looks great on the face. Yeah, I got some splatter with a toothbrush. So it's kind of, uh, yeah, I just, like I said, I didn't really think too much. I just went for it, just started painting and just see what would happen. So, yeah, that's one down, four to go, although I've started the, the second one. Yeah, fine. Just need to do, great. Darren's got some uh, dirty down rust and verdigris which I've pinched so I'm gonna, gonna uh, rust up the weapons and verdigris the weapons and then I need to go around the base room one more time because it's kind of do you ever get that I don't know why but sometimes it dries yeah. a bit shiny yeah. I don't again maybe I'm not shaking the paint enough anyone knows let me know because I've got no idea why it does that sometimes but yeah I'm also thinking I've got some yoohoo glue I might put some stringy blood effects on like around his mouth and again yeah, around the, around the mouth might be might be quite cool. I don't. I'm not a massive fan of when you see when people do like the string stringy one, but it's mm. like so they go mental. Yeah, yeah. you get like uh, I think it's where it's like tyranny is. Yeah, you? and they're like there's like huge. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they've a, got you know, a silly string or something <laughs> between their hands. You no, know, you get like in Sherlock Holmes where you get like the red string between yeah. between all the crimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan, but... No, it's... Um, yeah. I might put a bit on his mouth or maybe some on those bones on the floor. But yeah, no, I just kind of didn't really have a plan going in. Just shut my brain off, as it were. Chucked a podcast on and just started painting. Didn't really... Cause sometimes I overthink it. Yeah. I yeah. get a bit too, oh, right, I'll do this, do that. And when it doesn't turn out exactly as I was thinking, I get a bit annoyed. I feel like I've kind of done that on my 
on my grey night. Yes, you had massively. Oh, with the saw, you said yeah. about eight messages. Oh, yeah. I was thinking this saw. What do you think? What do you... You're overthinking it. Just yeah. sorry, my cat's decided <laughs> just come in and he's uh, decided to get into Darren's uh, little box. <laughs> oh, now he's attacking the bin. What are you doing? Sorry, yes, we're hearing him meow, and that's not us, it's the cat. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's my hobby. I haven't done, admittedly, haven't done loads, but the uh, the bug is coming back, yeah. let's put it that way. That's so, that's I, think, down. I, I don't know if I've, I've sort of seen it a little bit on like social media, but I think I've seen a couple of people sort of like struggle with motivation, and I wonder if it's just that sort of new year. Know, it's yeah, just a it's bit a, of a, a few things I've seen people new year yeah. slump. I yeah. Mean, I've yeah, I mean I've been I've been working on some other stuff, so I haven't done anywhere near as much painting as I want to do. But yeah, I'm feeling generally um, yeah, I've got other stuff mm. going on at the it's moment. In the pipeline. But, yeah. Um, yeah, generally just a little bit less motivated than normal. Yeah, I feel like I am as well. And I'm, again, not going to lie. I did, it was our birthday recently, 21st. So yeah. Yeah, we both had the same birthday, weirdly. Yeah, um, that is weird. So I got Baldur's Gate as one of my things. And that is kind of, yeah, I won't go to lie. So you're sitting there painting, yeah. you're like, oh, I could just do a little bit of Baldur's Gate. But mm. I'm, kind of trying to take the pressure off myself with that as well like before it'd be like no paint that's what you've got to do you can't do anything else i'm almost trying to balance my yeah nerdy just interest. be a bit less hard on yourself yeah because i think that's yeah that's part of the problem which is overthinking yeah it. yeah get too involved and then oh it's gone wrong oh look but i thought no i'm just gonna today i did some contrast paint on the other ogres and i thought you know what let that dry i'm gonna go and play ball skate for a couple of hours so yeah. Yeah, that's not not a lot of hobby to report, unfortunately. But some hobby, like I said, it is getting the motivations coming back now. I keep looking over, like, oh, I want to get on with those. I want to yeah. get some more done. So that's a good thing. But yeah, you've uh, you've got a little bit of a birthday story, haven't you? Yours yeah. has been a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all self inflicted. Yes. Oh yeah. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, I went out. Um, yeah, so our birthday's on the on the twenty first of Jan. So uh, yeah, I, I went out um on the 20th and yeah just got cataclysmically drunk <laughs> that's a good word <laughs> cataclysmically yeah. drunk sufficiently Not... long to yes, explain how drunk i was well i bet you couldn't say that when you were drunk <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> um yeah yeah bad idea lots mm. of drink too quick and yeah you're memory only just getting over it now aren't yeah you? So. amnesia amnesia oh i hate that when you get so drunk that you can't remember yeah um yeah so i wasn't feeling great on the yeah on the 21st so but yeah i've just about recovered now so I think mine was mine was quite well mine was quite not bo mine wasn't boring but i turned 40 as my <laughs> as my son likes to keep reminding me you're 40 now daddy are you going to die when you're 41 hang thanks son <laughs> love you too hopefully not yeah um but no, we went out for a meal with my family, uh, come back, and I just, it's a bit lazy. I, I Believe it or not, even though we do a podcast, we have an Instagram channel, and yeah. like, uh, Darren started to put things up on uh, YouTube. I don't really like being the centre of attention. Yeah. I can't watch these back. I hate it. My wife sometimes puts the podcast on or watches the shorts, and I'm like, oh, turn it off, turn it off. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> I don't like being centre of attention, really, so... My wife was like, oh, I want to throw you a party. I was like, no, I don't want a party. So I just basically, we went out for a meal with all my family, come back and just spend the evening with my wife. She got a migraine. So at about eight o'clock on the 21st, she was like, oh, she could barely open her eyes. So mm. she went to bed. Lovely. Cracked open a couple of, <laughs> a couple of beers and played yeah. Baldur's Gate till midnight. Oh, I tell you what. Well, it was, was a, I was going to say, it was the best <laughs> birthday I've had in years. <laughs> I hope she doesn't listen. I've got, yeah, I was going to say, I've got to cut that bit yeah, out. Yeah, cut that out. God, please cut that out. <laughs> won't have a 41st, but my, my son will be right. I won't. I will be dead. Uh, yeah, so it was that birthday, my ogre. Yeah. My house sale's gone through. Yay. Well, yeah. Finally, Finally, so you can get um, the uh, beach hut now. Yeah, yeah, and get the beach hut. Um, live in the dream. Fine. So can I move in? I might need to. Yeah. <laughs> she listens yeah, back fine. to this. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, we played a game of Hero Quest last week. Yes, which I I loved. I love. Yeah. Never played it. I've always known a bit, but I absolutely loved it. 
I think my wife again, she played because she was going to go to her D&D group that night, but I can't remember why she didn't go. I think she had a bit of a rough day at work and she wasn't really in the mood. So she said, oh, stay at home, play Hero Quest with you. And I know a lot of people online, again, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but a lot of people online say it's kind of like a D&D light. Yeah. It's got mechanics of D&D. Someone yes, can DM um, the, the, the game, but you can. We used an app which DMs for you. So it moves the monsters, you know, does their roles, etc., etc. She enjoyed it, but she, she th- felt it was a bit simple. She said it was like D and D light, yeah. which I kind of loved. I was like, "This is this is great" because yeah. it's. I, I was saying to you, I kind of like a game where you don't need the rule book. You can play it. You don't have to worry about every five minutes picking up. Oh, what was that rule again? You can just play, and I felt like that. I felt like what twenty minutes in, we were just we were off. Yeah, I think so. I think you can. I feel like when we play it next time as well, that we'll be so much quicker as well. So yes, yeah, your yeah the the things. I, I it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Well, why, mean, why was it a lot harder than we thought it was going to be, Darren? Let's go, let's, let's, let's go into let's that, shall we? So basically, we. We only did the tutorial mission, so it's, you, there's no secret doors or secret room, uh, no, not traps. rooms, secret, tra- secret traps and uh, doors in rooms. So you search, every, you go into a room, you search it. Loads of people probably know how you play Hero Quest, but you go into a room, you search it, and then the DM will reveal any secret traps or rooms, uh, doors, sorry. That isn't in the first mission, so you don't have that part. So yeah. we basically, we scoured the, the uh, dungeon, we found the boss, the, the gargoyle we had to kill. Killed him, and me and my brother were like, right, let's go, let's get out of here. Uh, my wife and Darren decided it would be a good idea to go around and open every door in the dungeon to try and like loot as much as we could. Yeah, dungeon crawler. Yeah, but you crawled to the point of the boss. Now we can leave. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't even get the chest from the from the boss no, room. No, that, that I was in the boss room. It was you and my brother that were in the boss <laughs> room. Anyway, so they killed the boss, walked away from the loot. Then decided to double back for the loot whilst opening every other door. My wife was awful. She was going around opening every door. I run to the exit, then got moaned at. Oh, come on now, come on. We've got to clear every room. We've got to clear all the rooms. Oh, fine, okay. So I come back in to help. Got killed by a door that my wife opened and two, was it two orcs? Rushed me. (laughs) Killed me. So I'm dead. My brother managed to get out last minute. He used a spell and basically ran away. Yeah. And then you and, yeah, you and my wife got out, didn't you? So yeah, but everyone else got out. I died and I wanted to leave. <laughs> but no, that's what you get. Yeah, how dare I? <laughs> but no, it. The good thing is, it's not too bad because when you die, you just basically remake. The yeah, same character. I mean, it's not bad on on mission one. No, because we had no loot or anything. Yeah. So basically, you drop every die, you drop everything you have. So we gave what I had to the other players, and then just rewrite the character. But no, I I quite enjoyed yeah. it. I think we're yeah, gonna. It. it was fun. I think we're gonna do it again maybe tomorrow. Or maybe we might try yeah. War Cry because Darren's got his um, Seraph and Skinks painted. So we're kind of... Might do that. I, well, I think my my thoughts on trying a game of War Cry is to spur your motivation on even yeah, more but to, it, to get that warband done. Although you're... It's you're, coming along. Yeah. The, the motivation's coming back. I've got one. Like I've just got to finish yeah, him off looks, tomorrow. Yeah. And, that. and then I'll start the second. But I, I've, I'm not really in a... Not really in a rush. I'm not. No. I'm not worried about getting. Although that said, I would. I want to try War Cry, just because we've never played it. Yeah. It's kind of that thing. Of it's we, that thing. We don't know. We've got the board. We've got the cards. We've yeah. got the rules. We've got. You've got a fully painted war band. I've got a fully built and, well, what like ten percent painted war band. Wherever it is, no yeah. more than that. Twenty percent. Twenty thirty percent maybe because they're all based and they're all kind of the first base colours are on. But um. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm in no massive rush to play it. I would happily do Hero Quest. We're having a bit of a live decision. <laughs> yeah, 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 either, yeah. But bring it round and we'll just, we'll decide. But uh, yeah, so that's it really, hobby-wise. Nothing really, again, it's flat. I think once your house sale goes through and... Yeah, yeah, you know, I think we'll have, a, we'll have a bit more stuff. Definitely February's going to be a, be, yeah, going to be a really busy month, actually. Yeah. Um, I, I know that we've got, we've got plans to... Um, do a collaboration in February, um, which we'll maybe talk about next time. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, there's some some good stuff coming up. Yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, hobbies, one other thing, not that it's relevant, but uh, dungeon crawlers. I bought an old game I had a few years ago. It was uh, stuffed fables. Mm. 
it's it's a bit kiddie. It's good for playing with kids, families, or it's good for kind of intermediate or casual board gamers, people that are interested but they don't want to play a yeah. you know, they don't want to go oh, wizards and orcs and goblins. It's basically Toy Story, but you're yeah. on a you open a book and you move around on the book. It's 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 got quite deep mechanics, like a dice put a bit like Legion, a dice pulling thing, so you put the coloured dice right. in the bag. You pull out one, and that's each colour as a thing. So red is strength, purple is wild, green okay. is agility, blue is defence. And you assign them to your characters, and you can do abilities. It's a really good game. I had it a few years ago, and my wife loved it. Her friends loved it. I enjoyed it. I painted the whole set, and I did my classic. Oh, yeah. Sold it on eBay. Sold it on eBay for a massive profit, I might add. But I saw it in our, like, one of our local friendly gaming stores a few weeks ago, and it was dirt cheap, because it's quite hard to get hold of now. Plat Hat Games made it, right. like Z-Man Creations or something. Another company bought the rights to it, but since then it's kind of like become like rocking or shit to get is hold it? of. Yeah. They make it. The one I've got is the Z-Man version, just the same game with a different logo in the corner. The models are the same. Yeah, it's all exactly the same game. Yeah. They've literally just put their 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 logo on the box and removed the old one. So I bought it because it was really cheap, and then thought, oh crap. Are we going to play this? Are we going to use this? Oh, crap, more miniatures. Yeah. So it's in the cupboard at the moment, wrapped up in cellophane. Still got the price on. I've got the receipt. Part of Sounds me's like, like my cupboard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but it's in there, but that's another dungeon crawl. I think you'd like it because I yeah. controversial. I almost feel like there's more crunch to it than Hero mm. Quest. But it hasn't got that really cool fantasy thing. That kind of retro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that 80s feel. I say more crunch. It's not a crunchy game at all. It's still easy. But what I mean is it's got a bit more of a mechanic. You yeah. Know, like, and it's the theme's different as well. Yeah. Whereas Hero Quest. as much as it's Hero Quest is retro, it's kind of, it's obviously been done to death. You yeah. know, barbarian, dwarf, yeah, yeah. wizard. Exactly. That's what I mean. It's, yeah. you know, generic fantasy tropes kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas this is a bit different and it's, 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 it's a fun little game. As long as you go, don't go into it, you know, expecting Gloomhaven, then you, you, yeah. you'll be fine. If yeah. you're expecting just like a, a light dungeon crawler yeah. with some cool, with some absolutely brilliant miniatures, I don't know if you've ever seen them. I've seen a few, yeah. yeah oh my they god, look cool. the miniatures are absolutely lovely, and they're yeah. one, they're single, they're you like... know, no, no, no building. They straight out of the box, give them a little clean, they're ready to go, and they're really nice to paint. Yeah, nice. So that might even just for a painting project, that might be something. In the I, future. Yeah, it's something I quite like to paint because I've never really, yeah, painted anything like that. But um, yeah, I think that's it, hobby wise. Anything news related you want to talk about? Oh, I've got some things actually. Oh, yeah. I've got some things. Talk about. Yeah. Mantic, I think, of the 26th of January. So what's that? Friday? As a time recording, it's this Friday. Four, fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are taking pre-orders for The Walking Dead being re-released, the board game, which is another one that I always feel like I missed out on. Yeah. We both kind of have thought about that one in the past. I think we yeah. went, saw a few years ago at Mantic uh, Salute, wasn't it? And they had all the... Do you remember we got the free model? We got the free zombie? Like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then... Um, when they were pushing it originally, but I think, I don't know the ins and outs, but I think they lost the license and they got the license back. And But I'm, again, that's another one that I'm like, you know, I would yeah, like I guess... to get into. Cause you have the, the yeah, you have the, it's, a, it's almost a campaign dungeon crawler in itself, but it's a bit like in Warcry and there's no tiles. You just move where you want. Right, you know, okay. it's like a, it is a war game, really. Yeah. You know, but I think it's like the, the zombies like an AI. Um, opponent so yeah, you like you would, so you'd have yeah. like yeah you could have like rick's group and then you could play the whisperers or the um the woodbury i don't know if you know any of walking dead at all a little but, bit yeah you know the governor yeah yeah you could play the governor's crew and i could be rick and co and then you'd fight each other but while you're fighting each other you've got the zombies that are like an ai and they're coming and you have to like deal with them That's as well cool, yeah so it's it's a game that I like the idea of, and I quite like the models. And I am like, ooh, it's up for pre-order this Sun this uh, Friday. Yeah, twenty six. So be yeah, we just have gone. But, just yeah. have gone. So yeah, might, mistakes might be making <laughs> Friday. But, mistakes might have already been made. Yeah, by the time I'm listening. Um, yes, yeah, so that's another one that I'm, I kind of like the idea of. Also, as well, I don't know if you've seen, but obviously at the time recording, the weekend just gone, Old World was released. Yeah. And they've announced, we were just talking about it off air, weren't we, before we started recording, but we they've released or announced, sorry, the Orcs, Orcs and Goblins yeah. for the Old World. And 
it's not a set I knew I needed until I saw it. If you know what I mean? Yeah. We were saying, yeah. as soon as I saw it, the, the nostalgic feel. Was like, oh, the models are awful, but I love them. Yeah, I, I don't those. know what it is about an orc on a boar, but <laughs> yeah, <fine. laughs> like, I'm done. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need it badly. Yeah. And I don't even like orcs. Yeah, I love I orcs. love them. I like orcs. I like goblins. I loved orcs. I never collected them. Again, I think that might almost be something that's, I never, that's one army I never collected when mm. I played fantasy. I did a lot of the armies. I did, yeah, Dark Elf, High Elf, Wood Elf. I did Bretonians. I didn't do Empire because I still don't interest in, have any interest in Empire. Yeah, I did a lot of the old fan chaos. Yeah. I did a lot. But Orc and Goblin is one I never collected. I played against them a lot. A lot of my friends had Orcs and Goblins. But seeing them just made me feel, I don't know, warm and fuzzy and nostalgic. I was like, oh, I kind of, kind of want that box. Yeah. But if it's anything to go by, Games Workshop's previous ones, it'll be sold out in minutes and then you'll never get hold of it until they, re, you know, restock it. So, yeah. Again, like we did before. Wish list. Yeah, like we did before. I'll wait and see the price. Yeah. Because if they come out and say, oh, it's... 800 quid. Yeah. Hang on. It's cheap as that. Oh, I'll get one then. <laughs> I get two. Yeah, fine. One each. <laughs> But I quite like the, they've done a new hero sculpt, an orc. It's a really nice model, and a yeah. new shaman model, and it's really good. The problem I found with the old world, personally, I see in the models, I don't know what you think, but especially especially Tomb Kings, is the new sculpts don't even look like they fit in the same army. Yeah. You know, I, compared yeah. to the old skeletons, yeah. and the new, it's like, ooh, they don't even look like the same game. I, it, yeah, I think that's the issue. Um, when you're yeah, when you're bringing something back and then releasing it, yeah, new yeah. models for it, um, you you sort of you don't realise like how far things have come. Yeah, things have yeah, come until yeah. you look at the the new stuff versus the old. And, yeah, and yeah, like you say, in that context, they're next to each other, so mm. you can't help but oh, they look a bit. Compare them. Whereas I do again, it's you can still see it a bit, but I feel like with the orcs and goblins, it looks the kind of disparity is a lot smaller like the orc yeah. looks like you know they look good together they don't yeah, look yeah. weird so yeah that's a set that i did kind of i don't know it's weird i was like oh or, oh, oh. <laughs> they're cool oh, that's, that's, that's a good i box. did the same yeah that's so oh, shit do i want orcs there's something about a warthog yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think i want orcs and goblins so like, oh <laughs> shit so orcs and goblins versus orcs and goblins then yeah hang on well, that'd be a boring match I wonder if they still got the war rule, the animosity rule, sorry, mm. from the old fantasy. They basically fight each other. You'd have to roll and see if they turn on each other. Hang or on, they go, wah, and they go mad. Yeah. You have to roll. I think a one, they attack each other. A six, they wah, and they move towards the enemy. That was an old, well, I don't know if the new rules have got that in. Yeah. But yeah. They've released the uh, legacy list, haven't they, as well, for the old world, the armies that aren't getting updated. Don't want to talk about it. I'm still yeah. very bitter about my dark elf. But the... the Again, I haven't looked at all the looked at all of them, but the general consensus online is that they're pretty good lists. Yeah, the legacy list that they've released are pretty good. Looks like they've had a lot of effort put into them. But the problem is, they've already said Games Workshop. At least they've been upfront about it, given their you know credit. Is they won't be updated. So mm -hmm. if there's any FAQs or updates yeah. to the army list moving forward, these legacy lists won't get anything. That's it, one and done. Great for now, but in six months' time, when the orcs are out and chaos are out and there's been a rules update and yeah. stat up and points update. They yeah. won't get anything. So enjoy yeah. it while it lasts, basically. Play your armies now. but If you can get them. If you can get them, yeah. Well, if you've got an old one in a loft somewhere, brilliant. Yeah, but true. I've seen a few Yeah, I've seen a few old armies come out of the yeah. Woolberg. I would say I wish I'd kept mine, but God, mine mm. was... I got rid of mine about five, ten years before yeah. Fantasy was even... I came across a few Hiles the other day in my... Did you? Yeah. They're getting redone. Yeah. So you know you like wood elf as well. Like I said, your your sport for choice really with this because yeah. you could do wood elf, high elf, orc and goblin. Now we found out, uh, tomb kings. Tomb kings would be my yeah. Really yeah yeah. So there you go. That's kind of all I can think of at the top of my head really from things that I wanted to talk about. Walking yeah. Dead coming out, the new old world orc and goblins, which is a few new releases. But um, our our plan is to to touch on a few of those with paint gray eBay later. So. Yes, yeah, I won't say any more. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, so basically we thought this week we had a few ideas. We were throwing a few ideas around, weren't we, like the other day? But um got me thinking, I was cooking dinner today. 
listening to a few YouTube videos and thinking, I was thinking, a lot of people, it's that kind of time of year. Well, I know people do it before, but like you've got the big, like, you know, New Year re reset yeah. on all the shows. You've got like your Adepticon coming up, Salute, you've got the Game of Expo. Obviously, Warhammer Fest of some description is going to be happening, I'm sure. Maybe, I don't know if it'll be in this country or what, but so it made me th start thinking about the uh, painting competitions. Yeah. Oh, and there comes the cat. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm thinking about like painting competitions and, you know, people getting geared up and ready for them or what they're going to paint. And I was yeah. thinking, kind of got me thinking, you know, like painting competitions and we can maybe have a chat about our stance on them and what we think. And I think we have quite different views on, you know, should we do one, shouldn't we do one? But yeah, so, so I was thinking really of my kind of, yeah. so we could have a discussion yeah. on them because... Yeah, I'll let you start, I think. So what's your kind of, what's your gut reaction when I say painting competition, Darren? I know what your gut reaction is going to be. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, yeah, I just think they're, it's a really good idea to kind of push yourself as a painter. I, I feel like a lot of people stay in their comfort zone. Mm. And I feel like a painting competition, for various reasons gets you out of that comfort zone. Well, I suppose you kind of make, you have to, don't you? You have to think about it because you have to kind of push yourself. Yeah, you're not, you're you're no longer just, well, it kind of, again, it depends what your view of painting competitions is, but you're no, in my mind, you're no longer just getting a model done. Oh, no. You're, this is, this is different. You know, you're, if that's your mentality of, oh, I've got to get this done for this painting competition, um, then you, yeah, you need to start earlier. Um, well, I think the problem with, um, and I noticed a few other people have said it recently, I've been watching a few podcasts and YouTube videos and a lot of them said it and it's something I've thought for a while, it's kind of, oh, it's weird that it's kind of mm. come up, but it seems at the moment that, well, it's not always, it's been like it for a while, but it's, always felt like the focus of our hobby is on speed. Yeah. How quickly can you get that model painted? How, you know, if you YouTube painting Warhammer, you're, you know, the five fastest ways to paint Warhammer, yeah. paint your Warhammer army in a day, you know, and all that. Yeah. And it almost feels, it always feels like, you know, rush, 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 get it down as quickly as you can. And it's supposed to be a hobby. It's something you're supposed to do for enjoyment. Take your time. A little bit like with the uh, Warcry war band. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not in any rush to finish them. If they take me, you know, two months, they, they take me two months. Yeah. You know, I'm not in any rush. I'm not really thinking it through. And, you know, what I say when I say thinking, I'm not sitting down and thinking, oh my God, I need to do this. I want to push myself. I want to, mm. I'm just putting paint on a model and enjoying the process. Yeah. And it, nine times out of 10, comes out better than when I yeah. kind of... Yeah, than when you meticulously plan yeah. what you're going to do. But I suppose with a painting competition, it almost makes you slow down in the sense of you've got to, haven't you? You've got to take your time. You have got to yeah. do that process of overthinking, not overthinking it, but you've got to I, plan I think everything. you've got to have a, I think a good idea is to have a painting journal and have a plan. How you For a competition yeah. piece, you've got to have a yeah. plan. You know, what are you going to paint? How are you going to do it? Are you going to do something that's different to everyone else? Are you going to convert your model? Mm. You know, what, what competition are you entering? Because mm. obviously if you're going for War, uh, Golden Demon, then you're going to need to obviously use a games virtual model and then you've got to think about what the judges are going to like and how they're mm. going to... You know, so I do feel like, in a way, painting, like you say, does make you kind of take a step back and yeah, assess I, it more. I think so. I think what's interesting is it's kind of good and bad in a way, but usually when you enter a competition, you would play to your strengths mm -hmm. but it's amazing how many people don't don't, in a way they don't of... and they go out of their comfort zone yeah and it kind of reminds me of do you ever watch come down with me yeah i love come, come down with me oh i'm excited then <laughs> <laughs> I love it. oh even the cat's excited he's come back in <laughs> switch to an episode of come down yeah with me. To turn this shit off go and watch come down with um me. yeah so those of you who don't know come down with me was a tv show a where british one it was probably in america now yeah but... um basically people cook for each other and it was um, it always amazed me that they'd cook something they've never cooked before yeah 
Yeah, I'm cooking for four strangers, yeah. and there's only like a grand on the line, <laughs> and I'm cooking this thing. I've never cooked it before. Mm. Oh, weirdly, it's gone horribly yeah. wrong. Oh, like, people say it doesn't taste very nice. Yes, because I've never <laughs> fucking cooked it before. And I think that's what I think of when it's kind of like, oh, I'm doing a competition piece. I'm going to try NMM. And it's like, it's good because it's, it's like, I, um, like I said before about you're out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You wouldn't normally do NM, NMM, but you are because it's a competition. But I can't help but think, why don't you try NMM mm. <laughs> before? And then, yeah, you know, but then, yeah, it's kind of like, well, if you wait, then... You never will. Yeah, you never will. Hence, so yeah. Again, a bit of a disclaimer, like we say most weeks, but this is coming from a point of view of two people that have never actually entered a competition. Yeah. So we, we know... Well, you say that, you have entered a few... Um, well, yeah. Of, I want to say unwillingly. But... Unwillingly, yeah. I've done a few. And mm. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we went, um, so... we went, well, I used to do Underworld tournaments a lot. And obviously, like most tournaments, they do the best painted army, don't they? The best. And obviously, they did best painted warband for Underworlds. And I went, I went to th four tournaments and won three of them for best yeah. painted. So. You think you're painting shit? I think that's my, again, going back to like two people that have never entered the reason I've never entered and I think I've touched on it before is it's a bit of imposter syndrome I yeah. don't feel like I'm good enough to paint in a, enter a competition what's the point in entering I'll never win I know it's a very defeatist outlook but it's kind of unfortunately it's kind of my <laughs> kind of attitude towards it I, it's I th yeah I don't know I suppose that I Kind of have Darren kind of saying, well, "Come on, enter one, do it." You know, give him trying to give me a kick up the ass yeah. to do it. But I, I suppose it's a bit strong. But I'm almost a bit scared to enter one because I'm like, "Oh, I don't. My paint is not good enough to win a competition. I might be a good painter, but I'll never win anything." Yeah. So I feel like, and I know everyone's like, "Oh, don't worry, just enter, just do it anyway. You'll realise how much you enjoy it, and it's something to move on from." But, but and yeah, everyone's probably right. But it's almost yeah, like I said, that bit of imposter confidence kind of thing where I'm a bit like I don't really feel like I want to enter one yeah because I'm worried you know it might go a bit wrong and I'll be like oh I'm a terrible painter but I won't take the right thing away from it yeah exactly yeah and I think unfortunately it's only by doing it that you'll know yes that for sure and mm. I think that's the yeah that's the reason I think it's yeah I think this this year we should both <laughs> put something uh, in somewhere um well i think i uh, maybe again just kind of talk myself out of it but if you into it sorry but even if you think even if i take a piece in that i've not i've you know i've spent 50 hours on it i've gone mad i'm not yeah. expecting to win anything yeah you know if you walk away with you know i don't know i don't know how it works depends what competition you went yeah. to but if you walk away with oh, ended you, entry or yeah whatever oh my god what and i didn't even mm. you know next yeah, you, year i'm gonna for example you put saruman in and mm. you get a, a pin or whatever. Well, it would be. It, it's a bit yeah. like, well, I'm going to do. It. I was going to do it then. Well, well I'd, I'd never do that again. Do I try? No, I'm never doing it straight away. No, yeah. that would never happen. Whereas your attitude is like, well, you don't know unless you try. Yeah, and it's not getting a pin sitting in there, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Basically, oh. I'm going to take it out of your cabinet yeah, okay. and, and take it. Enter to... it in your name. Fine. Then if you win, I'll be like, if you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I win, that's my pin. Yeah, fine. If you win, it's your and pin. My model. And if you lose, I'll be like, well, I fucking told you I wouldn't win. So, you <laughs> win, know, win, win, win. <laughs> but um, I suppose, yeah, also as well, it's like we, like I've been saying this like last couple of episodes about focus. I want to focus more. I want to have a, I suppose going towards a competition would help it would give you a deadline yeah. that you can work towards you know salutes in April and I want to enter the competition in salute I've got till April to finish a piece as he looks over at his goblin yeah. rogue hobbies that could be entered um, yeah I think it's kind of yeah it's good to have something to yeah like a goal to work towards and again if we're talking about like motivation to paint as well if you've got a if you've got competition you're going to enter then that's you've almost kind of got to motivate yourself because yeah. it's, it's it's i know you said about like, oh you can't be like oh i've got to get this done but yeah you you've you know you've still got to mm. to, to get there i don't think you should rush it at the end but you yeah well you hear about so many people that are 
up in the hotel room the night yeah. before finishing off their golden demon entries or whatever. But I think basically we're just sitting here talking through the pros and yeah. cons of a competition and should we do one? So anyone has any ideas in the comments or ever, <laughs> or on Instagram wants to tell us to shut yeah. the fuck up, stop man up and enter one, which I feel like most people Yeah, say, I mean, but... I think we, we did a post. Um, I can't remember when it was. Um, it was like the middle of last year saying... Don't know, I think it was a meme, just like uh, basically enter Golden Demon and people tell you it's shit. But a lot of people are like, yeah, you just enter. Yeah. Just, you know, in terms of, yeah. you know, you're not going to... I feel know. like I'd like to start smaller though. I feel like going straight into Golden Demon would be, yeah. a, you know. But it's kind of that, I know that Joe talks about it on Paint Perspective, but that lazy perfectionist, which is if I can't do it perfectly, I won't do it at all. Hmm. And I think that's partly on on the painting competition. It's like I don't want to spend 150 hours on something and have my heart broken, so I won't do anything. That's me. Yeah, that's me. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I know it's very childish, pathetic. I know it's me. But if I, I spent so. no, 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 you only what I'm say. But pulling my trousers down and you're, you're yeah, going yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. Crying. walking out crying. Um, <laughs> But if I spent 150, 200 hours on a piece yeah. and I got nothing for it, yeah. I would be, my fragile, fragile ego and confidence would be shattered. <laughs> yeah, but you'd have the model. You'd have, well, I wouldn't. Cause it'd be like, <laughs> You're shit. <sighs> Throw it on the floor, stamping my feet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I, I probably, it would, it would be like, you know, I kind of like. Oh, it would be heart. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely would be heartbreaking. Like the you know Ningjon where he did his. Oh, he was gutted. Wasn't yeah. He? Oh, yeah. yeah. But you know, and I think yeah, you, you definitely would be. But you would have learned a lot by going through yeah. that process. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, again, I. It's one of those things. I think you probably do enter one. You probably be like, oh, I didn't get anything right next year. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna push it. Next yeah. Year, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, I do feel like. Another problem I have, again, this is more, I don't know if it's my ADHD riddle brain or something, but if I, I'm worried that if I, say for instance, I don't know, pick a model, pick a model off the top of your head. Um, Lionel Johnson. Lionel Johnson. So I went next week and I bought Lionel Johnson, right, I'm going to enter this into Golden Demon. I'm not expecting to win because Golden Demon, the model, the level yeah. is like. There's going to be a lot of lines in there. Oh, there'll be a lot of lines, yeah. It'll be like a whole pride. But. <laughs> Yeah, no, the, the the level on Golden Demon is is crazy. Nothing, you know, we the winners on that. Are, oh my god, it's like an, something else. Yeah. But so I wouldn't expect to win it, obviously. But if my worry would be that I buy that model, fifty hours in, and I've done this so many times, and you know I have, I'm bored of this now. I don't mm. really want to keep. Yeah, but you got to keep pushing because you know, Golden Demon's in too much. I don't care. I don't want to do mm. this anymore. I'm going to start painting my Warcry again, or I'm gonna. You know, oh, I've seen this new shiny box. <laughs> it's having that focus and that yeah. discipline to be like, this is it now. Because you hear a lot of people like, well, I think it's Richard Gray, for instance, he will, he'll enter a piece or he'll finish a piece. The minute that's done, he'll start his one for next year. Yeah, it's crazy. like, what are you... That's, what? that's dedication. That's that's just discipline, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and like... that's something I think I would, hum I don't think I would have. Yeah. Because I'd be like, ooh, new shiny yeah. thing. Oh, but also, this. I think partly... That might be because he might just be a display painter. He is. He is, I think. So I think, and I know we've said before, but you struggle to paint anything that you're not going to use, you know, in a, yes. in a game. So yeah, I yeah. think partly that is, you know, golden. that's kind of the point of Golden Demon or a painting competition that, you know, you're not, yeah. you're not going to use it on the table. No. But it's, it is a mindset shift. And I think maybe that is, yeah, maybe that is why. But again, the the Rogue Hobbies Goblin that you bought me, absolutely love it. Mm. I was I was loving painting. I think I even said that I'm really enjoying just painting the display yeah. piece. I haven't touched it for two months. Not uh, not because I don't like it or I don't want to paint it. I do want to finish it, but it's like I'm loving painting this. But we could play Warcraft with three painted warbands. Mm. We could play Legion. I'm going to paint this Vader's fist list. Or we could paint Hero Quest and have a whole fully painted board like a, like a child. Like yeah. I said, like, yeah, but I, I think lose that focus. Yeah, I think it's also that 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 point of you've not done a piece solely for a competition, entered it, 
and been through that whole experience. Haven't got hey, the bug. Hey, yeah, you haven't got the bug, whereas Richard Gray's got the bug, mm. as in, oh, I've entered it, I've got a silver right next year's, mm. you know, because it, yeah. he's got the bug, you know, mm. you can't wait to enter that yeah. final piece into Golden Demon and people look at it and go, fucking hell, that is incredible. Yeah. You know, so that's what he's, that's his version of playing Warcry. Yeah. And that's the thing I always, you know, am I a competition painter then? Mm, yeah, yeah. Probably, let's be honest, probably not. Mm. I know I'm I know I'm a pretty good painter, but I know I'm never going to win Golden Demon. I'm, you know, I've come to terms with that. I know I'm never going to be that level. But, so I, I suppose, like you, it's a bit like the lazy perfection thing. If I know I'm never going to win, I know I'm not really mm. a competition painter, why bother? I might as well just carry on painting the armies for the games I like. Yeah. So there you go, done. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do competitions. No, well that's the thing, isn't it? Should we? That yeah. was the, you know. Yeah. I feel like you will and want to. Yeah. See, but I'm not I... saying I won't, but I feel like for me it's going to be a lot more arm twisting. I think you've definitely got the mindset of, you know what, fuck it. Here's a model, I'm going to put it in and see what happens. Yeah, and I th what's interesting for me is your argument for not doing it is almost my argument for doing it. Which okay. is, I know I can't win Golden Demon, which is kind of why I think pressure's off then. I'm not trying to win it. Yeah? I'll enter something. Okay. And if I get anything, okay, it's but, a bonus. Okay, so you spend 100 hours on, let's say you get Tolgar, your mm. Warhammer one, you repaint, or you buy another one, and you 150 hours in, you enter it, nothing. Yeah, and I'll go around every single competition in the UK and enter it. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Until I get anything. And then nothing. What happens then? See, again, that's my... It's awful, isn't it? That's so not eBay. Hang on. <laughs> that's my outlook, though, isn't it? That's the problem. I know it's it's me. Yeah. You know, that's my yeah. kind of, like, negative... Oh, I'm not going to win, so watch the bother. Perf, what is it? You said lazy perfectionism. Mm. That is... Mm. That is sums me up perfectly, which is... Yeah. No, I, I, I definitely have that as well. Like, not not just with model painting, but, yeah, like, so many times, if, if I can't... Yeah, if I can't do something to the standard that I want to do it, I won't. I won't start it because yeah. you know it's that. Yeah, that's like there's no point. That's kind of like what I was saying. Going back to that ogre for Warcry that I painted. Normally, I would go right. I'm going to buy these this set, and I'm really going to think about how they're going to be painted and, and the process and how I want them to look. Yeah, like you said. And then when I'm fifty percent the way through the warband and it's not looking how I thought it was going to look mm. in my head, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm annoyed. Mm. It's not turned out as I was thinking. With this Warcry. I've that this war band in particular and yeah. things in the past I haven't even thought about it I've literally like I said I've literally put them together based them and just started putting colours on and it's turned out I think yeah. you know yeah, yeah, just, do you know what I mean like yeah. it takes the pressure off of yeah. thinking about it you, which is what I worry about if I entered a competition I would be yeah. overthinking every little bit I think you'd, bit. you'd put too much pressure on yourself yeah I yeah. think I would and yeah. then I'd be like oh it's not good enough and then but I, I think in terms of like the hundred hours thing um, how how many times have you put a hundred hours into a PlayStation game? You know, and mm. what have you got at the end? You oh, don't. Yeah. No one pats you on the oh, back that, and gives you a oh, fun. Oh, pin. that hits different. <laughs> That's true though. Yeah, you know, Lies of Pit on the Xbox. Mm. I put one hundred and fourteen hours into it, and I've uninstalled it because I'm done with it. Yeah, I and mean, like you said what? Yeah, I've enjoyed good it. Good experience and good. Mm. Um, good memory but yeah. then you could say it would be a fantastic experience and a fantastic memory to and you put 100 got, hours into a model and, and you've got the model at the yeah, end yeah that's the main thing you've got the physical and maybe model. a finalist pin oh I'm so conflicted <laughs> <laughs> but I think also as well it, it depends on who you're trying to enter the competition for what no let me rephrase that what competition you're entering yeah so if you go into Golden Demon, for instance, well, I've got to do something 40k because yeah. that's the big boy. That's the one that everyone loves. But then you're going against every other person. That, I know, obviously, they've got Age of Sigma and they've yeah. got Lord of the Rings, but yeah, you're 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 potentially pandering to yeah, maybe maybe not with all competitions, but Golden Demon specifically, mm. you're probably pandering to. I well, you got what the judges want. The judges are going are going are going to want to see like heavy metal style. They're going to want to see. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that painting something that's new 
um, and painting it in heavy metal style will carry you in terms of like bronze, silver, gold. No. Because, you know, that high elf won it last, won the Slayer Sword last year. Mm. Um, and, or the, what was it, Lumineth model? The, yes. The hero. But it was a massively um, converted. Wasn't yeah. It? Mm. But, um, you know, if we were saying, oh, you, you know, you've got to do a, you've got to do a Grey Knight or you've got to do a, yeah. a Space Marine. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not true because Illumineth won it mm. and you would have never no, did that. But I would say at the lower level, it carries it more. Yeah. My argument, though, is you go in, you've got an Ultramarine, right? You've got an yeah. Ultramarine captain and you've spent... <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. It's first thing come to mind. You've got an Ultramarine captain. Here's yeah. Ultramarines. You've got the Ultramars, Ultramarine symbol on the shoulder pad. But you've done him absolutely beautiful paint job you've done it you spend a hundred hours on this captain yeah. but you've done him red yeah well that's not going anywhere ultramarines are blue yeah do you know what i mean yeah, it's that yeah. kind of like yeah. oh they'll look at that and go yeah it's done well but you can't let a, a red ultramarine win it's done brilliantly but you're an idiot yeah you yeah <laughs> it's done brilliantly but you haven't read the rules ever get the fuck out or <laughs> the book or yeah. wiping your eyes yeah <laughs> do you know what, my yeah. point though yeah yeah yeah. you've got to play by the rules which is why it's almost I think in a way if we were to enter a competition if you were to twist my arm it would be something like salute yeah where it's a bit more open you can put any model in it yeah, doesn't matter you can matter. put bow action or, yeah you yeah. can just put a good model into a competition not thinking right you know has he got the right gun on has he got the right you know, chapter symbol. Have I done any? Yeah. You know, oh well. You know, he wouldn't wear that mark arm. We'd wear this mark arm. And, and you can probably go a little bit more mad on a conversion. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas I know that I wouldn't say Games Workshop are really strict, but there there are the, there are rules. You know, they are pretty you, strict. You can't like they have an open category for that yeah. reason, don't they? Open yeah. where you can do anything as long as it's recognisable from the Warhammer IP. Yeah. But you can convert an orc, because, you know... Just can... like bow action, just like... Yeah. <laughs> Marines crawling all over Angron's back. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Why did I get disqualified? <laughs> yeah. Why are, those... Why are those Marines pink? Why are they women? Oh, do that. Go on, do that. Go to Gold Dean with a female space marine. Female grey knight. Hang on. Make sure you've got... Just an old woman. Make sure you've got body armour. I'll go... I'm not going in with you. I'll be kicking you. I'll go, yeah, I'll, get him. I'll go in with some misters of battle. <laughs> misters of battle. Hang on. Just, are they just space marines, though? Yeah, pretty much. In none armour. Yeah. Hang on. On my rails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think um, yeah, maybe a con is, is, like we said, kind of putting putting that pressure on yourself. Yeah, have it having the pressure of, you know, if you're if you're not someone that deals with pressure very well, then having the pressure of a of a painting competition is probably just going to stress you out. Yeah, which I don't know if I do handle pressure. Though. I don't think I do. Basically, you probably notice I'm just basically seeing if I can talk myself into entering a competition, yeah. and it's not really working. I would say, in terms of like when we were going to get that marble set done, I think you only handle pressure pretty well i wouldn't say that was crazy pressure but i would yeah but the difference with that is it was almost a brief of let's just get this done not in yeah. a bad way but i mean we weren't like yeah, let's that, push yeah, myself true. this is like let's just contrast yeah. this let's dry brush this let's zenith yeah. all it let's do let's cut corners and do a good job yeah, if you'd have had to do the whole marble set to a competition standard yeah I think you would have i would have probably thrown myself out of a very high window <laughs> i think but i think it's more the fact, like I keep going back to this year, I just want to try and focus more because it is that lack of focus I have, like where I'm like, you know, I'm really going to push it. And then about halfway from, I'm bored of this. Yeah. What else can I buy? Can I just finish what you've got, you silly arsehole? Don't buy something else. <laughs> that kind of thing. Which is what? But then I it's don't like know. Gollum. <laughs> yeah, find that precious. <laughs> but yeah, I think maybe... Maybe a competition would be different because you're like, no, no, this is, I've got till April or May yeah. or June or whenever, but this has got to be done. I think what's an interesting, um, I know something I've written down is, is kind of sense of achievement, but I've just thought that it's interesting to think you look back. So say, for example, it's Christmas 2024 
and you look back, would you rather say, oh yeah, I did a couple of war cry war bands this year and this, that and the other, or would you rather say, yeah, I did Golden Demon this year and I put something in? What would you be more proud to say? If it was I won't put Golden Demon and I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I put 100 hours in and yeah, do you remember me doing Golden Demon and yeah. massively flying? Do you remember me doing it in about 10 hours and winning the whole thing? Here's my Slayer sword on the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good year. Oh, and I got a Warcry Wall band. Yeah, up. fine, yeah. And uh, basically, I own Games Workshop now, so. No, I. Yeah, you put it like that, yeah. I'll... It is probably better. Like, yeah, this year. Yeah, I haven't got much painted, but I entered this model and I, you know, even if it's not Golden Demon, I came third at Salute or yeah. I fucking got commended at Salute's comp painting yeah. competition. Yeah, or oh, I worked on that diorama. Yeah, I didn't win anything, but oh my God, I love doing that. Mm. And and it's sitting in the cabinet. Yeah. You know, it, even at that point, I know it would, again, I know they say, you know, when you sort of lose in a final or whatever, you know, it's it's gutting, but then you look back and you think, oh, actually, I got to the final. You know, it's kind of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that retrospective. Mm. Um, actually, that was really good. Like when you pour 114 hours into a game and... Uninstall it. Yeah. <laughs> I did platinum it though. Yeah, you know. I don't know really. I, I feel like we've gone in a circle but I'm not sure if I would. Are you going to enter one this year? There you go, straight to the I point. yeah, I would I would like to. No no no, it's not what I asked. Are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> I know you'd like to, but are you going to? <laughs> yeah, but that's the different thing, is you're not sure whether you'd like to. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh that's it now. Yeah, that's it. I've said it. I've said it, done. Are you going to though? Yeah, I am going to. Oh, there yeah. you go, you heard it there here. So if he doesn't Yeah. <laughs> if you see a really, really sort of bang average modelling cabinet in Fine. <laughs> in Manchester, you'll know who's it is. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is though, again, this is really this makes me like a complete arsehole I'm going kind of doing a bit of a one eighty, but mm. we went to Warhammer Fest last year, didn't we? Mm. And there was some models in there which obviously like we said if you could get through the queues absolutely blew your mind yeah oh my god that looks like an oil painting that is stunning and yet there was about as many in the cabinets i would say mm. what i looked at and went i could paint that better yeah and that sounds really arrogant doesn't it but for instance there was um yeah but i think that's 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 what frustrates me mm. in terms of the fact that there was this i've got when they're called um Skaven. Yeah, Skitter Shanks. Skitter Shanks, Claw Pack, Pack, that's it. Skitter Shanks um, warband for Underworlds was in the cabinet. I own that warband. I've, and the one that was in the cabinet was nowhere near the level of mine. Would you yeah. say that? You, yeah, you, oh, yeah, I would you say and, that. Yeah. You and my brother pointed it out and you both said to me, you yeah. were like, yours pisses all over that. Yeah. And he's, but that guy or, or girl has had the balls to enter Golden Demon. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. But I think Shit, I'm annoying myself. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's a case of you don't want to enter it unless you're going to win a pin or no, something. I think it's Whereas gold... that person, yeah, but gold the, 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 the pro the, the thing is the process. It yeah. is the journey for them. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't know. They might have been expecting to to win a pin, no, but, but it's sort of like all credit to them. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not. I, I sound like I'm being a bit of an arsehole. Going, oh, there's mine's no, better than this. So. What I'm just, saying yeah. is fair play to them. Yeah. I would say mine is, well, you and you and my brother pointed out that yeah. mine is better, but I haven't got the balls to enter. They have, which is pathetic. When I say it out loud, I'm like, what are you doing? Just yeah. enter it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel a bit stupid now saying it out loud. Um, yeah, so there, I'd say I'm not going to enter one now. I'm all over the place. So we're not really, well, that's the whole point of the, the episode, wasn't it? Should we? Mm. You know, we're kind of putting it out to people and seeing what reaction we get. But, yeah, maybe I, maybe I should then. I could do Sarah, man. Yeah. Touch, touch him up a bit more. Get a wooden, we get a wooden plinth for him. Oh, get like a little wooden plinth base. Stick him in. Yeah, maybe. Okay. If anyone for the audio listeners, yeah. I'm doing some shifty eyes. Like, <laughs> hang on, I'm thinking about no, it. I know, I know it sounds. Yeah, I know it sounds sneaky, but Lord of the Rings also isn't a massive category for them. No. So if you're going to enter anything don't that get, you've spent fifty hours on, it don't get me wrong. Up. I could spend two hundred hours on him. Yeah. Entering Golden Demon, I'm under no illusion I'm going to win anything. Yeah, I'm not going into Golden Demon thinking, oh, well, if I walk, don't walk away with the final this pin, I, I'm basically going to quit the hobby. That's that's what I'd almost like to do. I don't know if the UK Games Expo do a competition. 
Again, that's a huge show as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm but not sure. They must do. Something like that, I'd want more salute or a smaller competition I'd like to try. Yeah. You know, and kind of wet your feet, as it were. Have a go. Yeah, see I, think, what you think. I think that's fair. I think my my thing with Golden Demon is um, I'd almost want to do it not looking for a pin or anything like that, almost just to kind of wet your whistle. You mm. know, it's a case of this year I'm going to do it might even be a model I've already painted. So, for example, Saruman. Yeah. Stick it in. If you win something, you kind of learn the pros. That, oh, yeah, I've got Oh, I'll go up on the Friday next time. And, do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. like you, you almost learn the, the process of it. And then also you might, you know, get to meet a few people and, mm -hmm. and kind of talk about stuff and fit, you might get feedback. Yeah. And you might think, oh, yeah, but I know the feedback I get, you know, bends mm -hmm. should be smoother. and <laughs> Yeah. Because you, you're always going to get that, but yeah, no, I think I have to have a, I'd have to search deep within myself mm. and have a think. But maybe, maybe I could go back to Saruman because I did say to you at the time when I finished him, I could go back and yeah. do some touch ups, maybe add a bit more to his heart. Let's just say if I had Saruman, I'd be putting him in Golden Age. <laughs> oh well, you can have him if you want. <laughs> Three hundred quid for you. Fine. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. that's kind of, that's, I'd say that's pretty much going around. Uh, yeah, I think we've kind of skirted around general, yeah, the so general basically... reasons why people might do a competition, why they, why they might not, and... Oh, yeah. God, I'll urge it. I don't yeah. want to. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'll admit, I'm, I'm scared of them, in yeah. a way. Don't I've... get me wrong, I've got no idea what I'd put in, but... Would you buy something new for it? Kind of Probably, just talking, yeah. Talking amongst yeah. so screw them, we'll talk about it. Would you buy something new for it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I'd... I'd sit down and you know have a have so, a proper brainstorm and how would you do it would you approach it in the fact you would paint sorry you would purchase something with the judges in mind or would you be like no fuck that i'm gonna buy a model i love and i want to put a hundred hours into yeah it. I, I wouldn't yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't do i wouldn't do something with the, job, with the judges in mind you do what i love I'm trying to think of something you love i love you i know you love i love lionel johnson yeah. i know there's going to be about 80 more of him yeah better than mine but i'm just gonna buy lionel johnson because i love that model and i'm gonna paint as best i can that's how you would approach it yeah yeah i think if i was gonna buy something with the judges in mind i'd be tempted to buy the skitari thing on skill that's uh, skills skills stills because surely no one's painting <laughs> and it into you'd be surprised i think i think we were overly harsh i think it's people some people quite like it <laughs> they're gonna be about 50 there they're wrong but you know, some people <laughs> quite like it. No, I think I think if I did it, it would be sorry when I do it. It will be um, <laughs> yeah when you said you would. It will be what I like is the creativity of. You know that's what I'm doing this year. I can't think of like a like an equivalent, but it's almost like when I do like the reels and stuff, and you know you're thinking of like what background am I going to use and what's, yeah. what what am I going to put it on and it. It's kind of like you've got to come up with the idea. You can't just, you, I mean, you can just paint the model, mm. but I like the idea of coming up with like a little mini diorama. Yeah. Um, well, Games Workshop have changed their categories now, haven't they? This yeah. Year? There's a lot more. Yeah. Each thing has its own category. So, like Underworld has one, Necromunda has one, yeah. Warcry has one. I think one. I need to look into like the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you thinking get Golden Demon then? The details. Or are you thinking? Yeah, I'd like to put something in. This year? Or yeah. are you thinking maybe next year? I'd start. I was going to say, you need to get your arse in gear. Cause <laughs> most people have been working on theirs for about four or five months already. Mm. Which is what I mean. It's that level of commitment yeah. that I don't know if I'd have. Yeah. Which you need. I don't know if I could. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have a get some Pro Acryl White and push those whites on Sarah Man and uh, Yeah. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe I will. Reassess your life. I mean, yeah, model. yeah, reassess my life. I'll probably fuck it up and then lose my shit and blame you. You yeah. told me to do this. He looked good until you told <laughs> me to fucking enter a competition. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Basically, it. yeah, should we? We don't know. Maybe you should tell us because I don't really know if I should or not. I was like, no, then I'm like, well, maybe. Now I'm like, no again, I don't know. Whereas basically, Come this year sometime, you'll see Darren with his Slayer sword. Yeah. Because he's going to win. Obviously, yeah. you're going to put it in, you're going to win. So yeah. I'll probably just put in something I've already painted, something yeah. I've slapped shot. Yeah, fine. Maybe just do it on the day. 
go in in the morning, grab a model, go back to your hotel room, a few contrast paints. Pencil. Done. Say a sword, put it in the car, drive home. It's easy. Don't know what they're on about. <laughs> right, right. right. It's that time you've all been waiting for. Or not, as a case may be. But it is paint, grey. eBay. I'll do the last one. <laughs> So basically, I was just looking at the models Darren's chosen this week, so I was just looking through them. So basically, it's a lot of the uh, Las Vegas Open reveals from GW, so it's a bit of a GW-centric one again. But Darren's first one he's chosen is the Mandrake Kill Team for Dark, o Dark Elder. Dark Elder? Can't even say it. Strakari uh, Mandrake Kill Team. They're absolutely brilliant. Again, it's three strong choices this week. I like all three. You know. But I do have an order already. I had a quick skim through them and I've already got a good order in my head. But the Mandrake models are absolutely, all of them are absolutely brilliant. Then it's, after that, it's to Warcry, which is very fitting. So basically, as you probably, if you've listened to any of the other episodes, Darren loves Lumineth. He did have a £450 army in his loft. And I like N Nighthorn. I did have a Nighthorn army, that's gone now as well. <laughs> but we they're two factions we quite like for Age of Sigmar. And we've been umming and ahhing about doing... I've been umming and ahhing about Warcry. Yeah. Got the Ogres, because I like them. They keep going about Warcry. But we get that box set. Literally, what? Four days later? Three yeah. days later? Yeah. They release a new Warcry box set with Nighthorn and Lumineth. It was like, are you fucking joking? <laughs> so, yeah. So, Darren's chosen, funnily enough. The Night Nighthorn Warband for uh, Warcry, which... Yeah, just fucking absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'm a little bit ghosted out. Mm, yeah, so that might sway okay. what you think. That's what that's yeah, that's why my my gut was not sure. And then obviously following that it's the Lumineth um warband, which again, all three warbands and all all two warbands and kill team are all absolutely brilliant in my opinion. All three of them like easily any three of them could be paintable, if you know what I mean. But for yeah. me, it's going to be, start at the bottom, I'm going to eBay the Lumineth. No, you've let me down. All right. Again, absolutely brilliant. Really some nice dynamic poses on there. Some of them look a bit janky. I don't really like that one there. <laughs> that one with like, the spear and his dagger pointing forward. I'm not yeah. keen on that one. And I don't like the fact they've got like cool like helmets on, but then some of them just wearing like polo neck t-shirts, it looks like. <laughs> polo neck t-shirts. But apart from that, they... <laughs> Looks a bit like a blood bowl team. Yeah, could be. Take the weapons off. Put a ball in his hand. <laughs> I don't even know. No, nice. <laughs> where that was going. That one's cool. Like the, like, I'm guessing that's the leader. With yeah, like the, the cool. sword and the spear. I love that though. Look, they do look very Harlequin-y. Mm, they're posed where they're like dancing. And... Yeah. So yeah, I, but I would eBay them because Lumineth aren't really a bit of me. They're all right, but I'm still bitch about Dark Elf. Let's just go there. And say that, but. <laughs> Then I would leave grey the night Oh, okay. Again, stunning models, mm. but I spent a good chunk of last year painting a two, well, 1,500-point Nighthorn army, so the thought of buying eight more Nighthorn models to paint, immediately it's only eight, and the scheme that I like wouldn't take me long. Yeah. But... Would you do them in the same scheme? You probably, because I like it. It's not... I, I know I did that kind of blue, yeah. white, you know, typical ghosty scheme. I do that scheme not because it's easy, because I genuinely like yeah. it. I think it's really striking on the table. It's and it is quite a fun, easy scheme to do. Yeah. So, but I'd leave them grey because I've had my fill of Nighthorn. I'll probably if we get into Warcry, I will buy them. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. The, the sculpts are so cool. Yeah, I will buy them. So that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is, they're all very good choices. Yeah. And I will paint the Mandrakes. Wow. Again. 40k, which isn't my true love. I like 40k, and we're trying to give it a go this year, but I'm not hugely into 40k, but I just think these look fucking brilliant. Love the sculpts. I love every pose on all of them. They look like they would fuck you up as well. <laughs> they, look, they look very sort of Souls-like. Yes, yeah. Almost like the ring, something like this one reminds me of the ring. Yeah. But yeah, great. So yeah, for me, it would be eBay the Lumineth, Leave grey the ghosts and paint the mandrakes. So, Darren, I'll hand over to you. Yeah. I well, think I could gut reaction yours already, so I'm not going to say anything, but just feeling God, the silence while Darren works. <laughs> Doobie doo doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um, I do like the Luma there. I think they're cool. And I would say that they're not normal Lumineth either. No. They're not they're not Lumineth how you normally no. see them. They're not quite as elaborate as normal Lumineth. No. There's not as much trim and plumage going on as there normally is, which is a plus. I still eBay them. Not that they're bad models. Yeah. They're the best of they're the worst of a best good bunch. Yeah, you know they're, I mean, for of, me. they're almost kind of a little bit more human looking yeah. than elf looking, mm. some of them. Um, which again is leaning towards my preference. Oh. But um it's this is a tough one because I like them all. Mm. Like you I said, do, but, I do. But I see I don't think I don't think I'd paint the Lumineth. Ooh, and I think that's what's going to throw That is in. weird. I would, I would have said paint them for you. My gut was you paint the Lumineth, you leave grey the Mandrakes, mm. and, you e and you eBay the Nighthorn. That's what I would have said. I would paint the Mandrakes. Oh, look. So you're starting from paint. Because they look brilliant. Okay. And they're very different mm. to what I normally paint. Um, and they don't look like they'd be that hard to paint either because yeah. there's like a cloth like robe as it were dark skin green flame white you know there's not yeah it's not games workshops like 14 bell no. pouches no. and you know 18 just layers a contrast on them yeah you the green go against... absolutely mad and yeah. technically they're elves so i'm gonna get away with that <laughs> and um yeah <laughs> Write in the comments. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you're fine. They're not really out. Um, and I leave grey the Lumineth. They're not getting yeah. eBayed. No, I um, wouldn't expect you. I, that, so I was right on one of them then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and that's... Again, it's the same as me with the yeah. Lumineth. They're great you, models. You have but... to eBay something. Yeah. And yeah, unfortunately for me, it's them. So mm. yeah, paint the Mandrakes, leave grey the Lumineth, eBay the Nighthorn. There we go. So another paint grey eBay done. Yeah. You're wrong again, but you know. Yeah, you know. Every week you seem to be wrong on yeah, this. It's yeah, funny that. So yeah. like, unless you agree with me, you're wrong. It's funny how that works out. It's weird, but, yeah. yeah. Although I agree with you on paint. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So you're a bit right, but... Half right. Half right, but you don't eBay not, or even though I just eBayed my arm. <laughs> but we don't it. talk about that. <laughs> You'd be painted it first. True. And I left it grey for a bit as well, so I did all three. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh right. dear. Hey, we have a laugh, didn't we? We have a laugh. Yeah, that's it for another one. Um so yeah, thanks for thanks for following along if you've got this far. Yes. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Uh stay tuned for yeah, more really average and, yeah, really, really uh, conversation. Average as as high as that. <laughs> wow. I high say, praise. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, God, calm down, we're not that good. <laughs> but yeah, you know the usual stuff. Like, subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe, please. Yeah, and Instagram as well. Helps us, um, yeah, helps us bring you these. Episodes. You know, all the usual YouTube and Instagram bullshit. Yeah, you know. Do all that crap. Yeah. But yeah, take it, you guys. Oh, take it, you guys. Take it, you guys. Take it easy, guys. That's what I was trying to say. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.